Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I want to talk about Jalen Hurts being the best quarterback in the NFC East. Oh, Jason Peters is a cowboy, officially. Mm, another thing that made me sit to my stomach, even more than the Jason Peters thing, Anthony Harris is gone. He's gone. He's not on the practice squad. This is Alka Beta Analyst. Let's get into it, man. Um, I want to talk about Clay Harbor. He put out this tweet a couple days ago, actually. First and foremost, happy Labor Day to everyone. But um, he said Jalen Hurts will be the best quarterback in the NFC East. Sorry, Dak. And he put out a series of tweets. And let me just put it up right here. He explained why. We seen, we never really seen Dak without weapons since he entered the league he had a great running game a great offensive line that's when zeke was on top and then when that started to go downhill and they wanted to put the ball in Dak hands more he struggled a bit but then they traded for amari cooper and since then he always had something around him we never really seen Dak We're like well he don't really have nothing around him and this is the time is like reversed kind of a, a little bit for the Eagles where so the Eagles got the offensive line the Eagles got a good running game Eagles got the receivers Eagles pretty much is loaded like you can say about the Cowboys been for the previous years but this is really the first time I'm we going to see Dak without weapons and Clay Harbor theory is that it's going to show it's going to show that he doesn't have Amari Cooper. It's going to show that he doesn't have that dominant offensive line. That's why he was de desperate for a Jason Peters. So we will see how Dak worked that out because you're getting paid. Now you're the man. This is what happens when you get paid a boatload of money. They want you to be that man. And we're going to see C.D. Lamb as that number one guy. Can he handle a Darius Slay following him? every single down can he handle that we will see it's all we will seize but if i had to rank it right now i would say dak one Jalen hurts two carson wentz three and daniel jones four but i won't be mad if you put carson wentz two and Jalen hurts three numbers are pretty similar all purpose yards including rushing and passing their numbers are very similar including all touchdowns, rushing and passing, their numbers are really, very similar. And even turnovers, their numbers are very similar. So when the numbers are very similar like that between Jalen Hurts and Carson Wentz, I start factoring in wins. Wins were the same, but Jalen Hurts showed up and won his last, what, two games or three games, and Carson Wentz lost his last two. One was against the Raiders and one was against the Jags. We did what we were supposed to do. We knocked off the Giants. We knocked off Washington. We we handled our business to get into the playoffs. And the Colts did not. And the Colts had a better team. So you got to factor that in too. So that's why I would edge Jalen Hurts over Carson Wentz at this moment. So that would be my ranking as of right now. But I do get his point about Jalen Hurts can possibly be the best quarterback in the NFC East. Now, I want to get into Jason Peters. Jason Peters, he's been milking the NFL, man. He's milking it at this point. He's trying to get every single dollar he can get. I remember back 2019, 2020, around that time where most of our offensive linemen was injured. And us Eagles fans, we kept complaining about Jason Peters wanting more money because we had him at guard because we really wanted to see what Andre Diller can do at tackle. It was his time. Andre Diller goes down, get injured. I believe it was an ACL. And we still had Peters at guard. And Peters was like, yo, for me to go to left tackle, I'm going to need more money. We're talking about Howie Roseman. He was able to squeeze Howie Roseman for more money. He was able to squeeze Howie Roseman for more money. And all of us content creators and Eagles fans... I'm probably the only one that took a different approach. We like, yo, why is he being so greedy for the money? Like, yo, you made millions with the Eagles. Why can't you just do this favor for us? But 
Howie Roseman freed up some cap money, paid Jason Peters. And what Jason Peters do? He goes to that left side, get hurt. He goes to the left side and he get hurt. The only lineman that stayed healthy that year, and I believe it was the 2019 season or the 2020 season, the only one was Jason Kelsey. Everybody else was hurt. Everybody else. But um, but Jason Peters, I say that to say this. Jason Peters is about his money. He's going to milk it. I mean, I believe he got desperate. The market was drying up. You've seen the injuries on the offensive line of the Cowboys. Cowboys desperate. They don't like to spend a lot of money. So they like, let's just pay him what we could pay him and bring him up. But I say that to say this. To see him in that Cowboy stuff does make me sick. But we talking about. And the Cowboys are hyped about this sign. And they hyped about it because he was a long-time Eagle. Let's be honest. If he wasn't an Eagle, let's say he was a long-time Bengal. They would not be hyped about this. They just hyped about this because, A, they didn't do anything in the offseason. And, B, he was a long-time Eagle. That just is what it is. So, um, and lastly, I want to talk about my guy, Anthony Harris. Anthony Harris, man. I think he was just given an unfair deal, you know, um, him and the Eagles agreed, you know, just to let him go explore other options, which I believe he will be signed to try to go to another team because, look, he was easily the third best safety, right? I think it should have been C.J. Garner Johnson, Marcus Epps, Anthony Harris, and Reed Blankenship. That's what I thought. And then Kayvon Wallace should have went to the practice squad. In my opinion. In my opinion, he should have been on the practice squad. But we, quote, unquote, need people for special teams. I guess. Like, Reed Blankenship couldn't be the special teams guy. I guess. But this is what I mean. When how we when, when we say how we favor those high draft picks. It, it's... It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Anthony Harris is clearly better than Kayvon Wallace, but K- but Anthony Harris deserves another shot somewhere else. Why hold him up on the practice squad? He definitely deserves another shot, but I think this is a huge loss for the Eagles and doesn't make sense. It don't make sense. This is what I mean by the NFL and their political stuff. I don't see any reason why he should have been on the practice squad, even after signing C.J. Garner Johnson. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about the Eagles news today? Jalen Hurts, best QB in the NFC East. I say right now, if I had to measure it, still got to get an edge to Dak, but I believe he can potentially be the best QB. Maybe I'm making another video about week eight, week nine, saying he is the best QB. Um, also, I want to talk about, well, I talked about Jason Peters. How do you guys feel about that? And also Anthony Harris made me sit to my stomach, man. But this is Alcabeta Analyst. Oh.